Hi, this is Jason from Rockland Technologies, and today we're going to be showing you the difference between setting up the Alpha Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 with a standard encrypted network versus setting it up with a captive portal network. Now, first you may be asking, what is the difference between standard encryption and a captive portal? Standard encryption is a type of password-protected network you're probably used to for many years. If you're on a Windows computer, for example, and you go to connect to a standard network like our Rockland Office network here, uh, when we click on the connect button, it prompts us for the security password. We type it in and we're connected. With a captive portal network, it's a little bit different. Here's a captive portal network. This might be something that you encounter in a campground, or it could be a Starbucks or a McDonald's or something like that. And with the captive portal network, we don't put in the password at the time of connection. You see, we're not prompted for a password. We do get a connection, but then when we open a web browser, it brings up a separate login screen inside the browser asking for our password if there is one and possibly asking us to accept license terms or something of that nature. So Captive Portal Network, you don't get prompted for security at the beginning, you get prompted for it later on. And the Alpha Camp Pro 2 is compatible with both, but there are different ways that you connect depending on whether your network has Captive Portal security or encryption security. So now into the nitty gritty, we're going to go ahead and connect Alpha Camp to the Alpha Camp Pro 2 right now. And for this video, I am using a brand new one, uh, so we'll be setting it up for the first time here. And the first step is our Alpha Wi Fi Camp Pro 2 broadcasts a Wi Fi signal called Wi Fi Camp Pro 2 with some varying numbers on the end. And we're going to go ahead and connect to it. And I recommend putting in the checkbox here to connect automatically, but you don't have to. Now it's going to take a moment to join here. And right now, the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 network does not have any security because, like I said, this is a brand new out-of-box one that we're setting up for the first time. So if you haven't used yours in a long time or you just bought it, um, you'll follow these steps to, uh, to set it up. All right, so it's going to say that we have no internet and the connection is open, and that's normal. We haven't set up the Camp Pro 2 yet to get internet. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up a web browser on the computer, and we need to type in the IP address that's in the instructions, which is 192.168.36.1, and hit the Enter key. And you're taken to this screen here where it says please set up the password to access setup in the future. So here we're creating an administrator password for our Camp Pro 2 Mini. Now this password can be uh, any length longer than eight characters. It can include letters and numbers. If your browser has this little icon here you can click on it to reveal what you type to check for typos. Now not every web browser is going to have that. Uh, your browser, if you're setting up on a tablet or cell phone or maybe a different browser, may not have that. So if it doesn't have that, you'll just have to go very slowly and make sure that you type in matching passwords. Once you have the password confirmed, we're going to click Submit to log into the system. And that password that we just created will be if we ever need to log back into the Camp Pro. If you go to a new location and you need to set it up to work with a new network, you'll want to remember that password, so be sure to write it down. Now, when we first log in, the Camp Pro gives us a list of all the networks around us. Now, you're going to be looking for your campground network or whatever network you're trying to extend. For the purposes of our video demonstration, we're going to be connecting to two different networks today. The first one I want to connect to is our office network, which is Rockland Eris. This one is standard encryption. And if you're setting this up at home or a location that uses standard encryption, um, this will be the path that you take. You'll click on the network and click the select button. And it's going to come up, and you only do two things on this page. You have a hotspot password field. So that's where you put your encryption key. That's the password for the wireless network that you're trying to extend. So you go ahead and type it in here. And then down here, again, if you have this uh, eyeball net icon, you can click on it just to view the password you typed in. The number one cause for not being able to connect correctly is putting in the wrong hotspot password. So be sure that you get it correctly. 
Um, if you're getting it from your campground office, make sure to ask if there's any capital letters, anything like that, because passwords are case sensitive. And once you have the campground password in there, we're going to come down here to the network password box and put in what you would like the password to be for your Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2. Remember, your Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 doesn't come with a password. It comes open, but you do want to secure it so that other devices around you would need to know the password to get online. So if you have a tablet or a laptop that you're going to be using inside your RV as well, the first time those devices will connect, they'll need to know what this network password is. So go ahead and create a password here. And again, go carefully so that you don't make any typos. Uh, if you have the eye icon, then go ahead and click that to view what you type. And once you've typed in the password, go ahead and click the finish button. And that's going to finish the connection process. And if all is successful, then you're good to go. Setting this uh, R36A router inside your Camp Pro up with an encrypted network is very simple to do. You're already done. Now, for purposes of this video, I'm not going to click the finish button because I want to go back to the scan screen and show you the difference between connected to an encrypted network and connecting to a captive portal network. So this is the scan screen that we saw when we originally logged in. And here we have our office network, which is standard encryption. Over here we have this network called Rock Wi-Fi. Now that network doesn't show any security, but it does have a password. So if your campground is using captive portal security or you're at a Starbucks or a truck stop that's using captive portal, you won't see a lock icon over here, but there's still a password. So what we need to do is go ahead and click on the network and click the select button. But this time things look different. There's no field for a hotspot password. Remember in the previous, uh, when we set it up with the standard encryption, we had a hotspot password field. Now we don't have that field. We just simply have an area where it says no encryption, blah, blah, blah. All this stuff, we're not interested in any of this. All we're going to do is one thing on this screen, and we're going to create a network for our Wi-Fi Camp Pro to uh, create a password, excuse me. We're going to create a password for the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 signal, which will basically secure it. So I'm going to do a different password here. And so, again, I'm going to click on the eye icon if I have it. And I see I use the same password here as for the administrator area. Now, you don't have to do that, but that may help you remember fewer passwords. So once you have your uh, security key entered in here, again, this is for your Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2. This is not the one for the Captain Portal Network. It's for the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2. We're going to click the Finish button. And now we're going to get a message that says Set Up Wireless and Check Connectivity. Please reconnect Wi-Fi and select the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 network. Now, what's happening here is remember when we bought our Camp Pro, it didn't have a password, it was open. But now that we set it up, it does have a password. So we can't get back into it unless we reconnect to it and put in the password. So I'm gonna pull up our list of available networks on my Windows 2 computer here. Windows 10 computer, excuse me. Now, click on the connect button. And you may get a message that says can't connect to this network. I think I tried to connect too fast. The router is probably still rebooting. Sometimes the Windows 10 screen also won't update quite as fast as the actual screen here. So it looks like it already connected me on to connected me automatically. Now, in your case, um, you'll be prompted for the password you created for your Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2. In my case, it goes ahead and connects me to the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2. And then it redirects me in a browser to the captive portal login screen. So this is where I'll put in the password. Your screen, of course, will look different if you're on a captive portal network. It may have the name of your campground. It may have the name of uh, Starbucks or whatnot. But here's where you'll put in the password and or accept the license terms and whatnot. Now, the final part of this video is what to do if you don't get this screen. This is the second most common reason why people can't connect with the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 is because they finish connecting to uh, a captive portal network inside their Camp Pro, but they do not get this screen here, okay? So if you don't get a captive portal screen, if you get a message that says the page can't be found, what I recommend is opening up another browser tab and try putting in a web browser, a website that you've never been to before, something that wouldn't be cached in your web browser, something like we're going to go to flowers.com. I've never been to this site before, so I'm going to punch it in. And when I try to go, 
my browser redirects me to the captive portal screen. So by simply trying to go to a network that you haven't been to before, you might automatically get redirected. Now, let's say that you don't get redirected and you still get a page not found error. We're going to log back into the Camp Pro setup area at 192.168.36.1. First, make sure Windows is still connected to our Wi-Fi Camp Pro network. It is. And we're going to go back to the setup area. And it tells us we're connected. It does tell us we're connected. It says Internet status connected. And that is because our Camp Pro is connected to the Captain Portal router. But we haven't been authenticated to get on the Internet yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to try a couple of workarounds. Uh, there's something right here on the status page called address. You see it begins with 192.168.0.34. And then below that, there's something called a gateway, which is 192.168.0.1. We're going to try putting both of those numbers in. We're not worried of uh, concerned with this number here. So we're going to, you can copy and paste if you want, or you can simply type it. Copy didn't work. I'll try again. And that actually takes me back to the camp prologue. So the way it works on this particular captive portal network is it just sends us back to the page we're on. So now we're going to try going to this address here, the gateway, and see what that does for us. So it did take us to the portal, but we had to hit enter twice. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and open up another tab here, and we're going to try that again. So in this case, with this particular captive portal network, it seems to want the gateway. And this time it does redirect us. So by trying, and it'll, captive portal networks aren't standard. That's why these workarounds are sometimes necessary. So sometimes you'll get redirected if you put in the gateway. Uh, other times, or excuse me, the address, other times you may get redirected if you put in the gateway. But in our particular case, um, if we're not being redirected automatically, and if we can't get there by putting in an uncached website, simply putting in the um, gateway for us redirects us to the password here. Now we can put in our password for the Captain Portal Network. And we'll accept the terms of use and we'll log in. And our special Rockland Captive Portal Network will redirect us to the rockland.com website. But in your particular case, you'll probably be redirected to a campground page welcoming you or possibly taken to the website you want to be going to begin with. Now, just to make sure our setup was successful, I'm going to try going to a website like, oh, I'll just put in ESPN. I haven't uh, checked sports news today. So we'll pull up ESPN. And... We go. SPN is coming up. Everything looks good. So our captive portal setup was successful. We're now logged in. Now, in the case of our captive portal network, this captive portal will time out our connections after one hour. This is very uncommon. Most of the campgrounds you stay at, they're going to be up and running for the time that you're there. But you can check with your campground. If they have a captive portal timeout, you may need to log back into the alpha router and reset it up for an additional uh, usage period.